Emerging Artist Expose, a film series focused on emerging local artists from the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky area. Brought to you by iKai. school for painting. Both of my degrees are in painting, um, but my thesis ended up being sculpture, and I identify primarily as a printmaker, so I'm a little bit all over the place um, with my medium, but um, I really enjoy printmaking, and uh, my work is very narrative-driven, um, so I like to convey stories through my images, and if I had to say that my work had a specific style, I would probably call it Victorian Appalachian. So uh, my, my art making process is really linked to uh, reading and writing. Um, I've always got my nose in a book, and um, the stories that I read and the stories that I write really inform the types of images that I make. And um, I guess that my work is pretty centered around a uh, mythology that I've been building for a few years um, with a specific cast of characters. Art is, uh, is definitely a kind of therapy. It uh, keeps me sane. And I've noticed that if I go through periods of not making, uh, th it definitely feels like there's a, a gaping hole in my life. Um, Ever since I was about seven years old, I've identified myself as an artist. It's always been a part of my life. And uh, my mother's kitchen table, uh, the underside of it, you can still see drawings that I did as a child. Um, so there, there are pieces uh, all, you know, all over my mother's house that, that connect me back to my childhood. And, um, it's just something that, that I've always done and that I've never been able to stop doing. It's um, buried deep within. I think early on a lot of my work had to do um, with religious themes, um, but as I became more well-read and really dove into stories and storytelling, um, I started to grapple with themes of um, childhood and the kind of the, the journey from childhood to womanhood. Um, the mythology that, that I'm working with currently in, in my current body of work has a lot to do with um, blood rights and um, familial sacrifice, family loyalty, um, and then also like the epic battle between good and evil. The main character uh, that I illustrate um, her name is Lana Stowe. She uh, lives in Victorian Appalachia, which, you know, there was never a Victorian age in Appalachia, but had there been, um, well, she lives there, and uh, her father is kidnapped by the wolves in the woods, and his spirit is trapped in the body of a raven, and uh, she is on this epic journey to release his spirit. Um, so, the wolves kind of represent the evil in the world, and uh, Lana represents every everything that's good. Find a support system, um, be a part of a community, um, whether it's artists or non-artists. If it's you know your mom and dad who really support you, like cling to them, be willing to make sacrifices for your work. Um, if that means you have to have uh, three jobs in order to keep your art making afloat, do it. Um, and then always, 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 always trust your instincts. And that will show through in the work that you make, and people will respond to that. Brought to you by iCard.